welcome back to the channel today i have got something really exciting for the all elden ring fans elden ring night ring is finally here and in this video i am going to show you how exactly how to install it on your pc with step by step no confusion no error just a smooth and clean setup so you can jump into the action asap but before we begin make sure to hit that subscribe button tap the bell icon so you don't miss any future game updates mods or installation guide now grab your sword ready your spells and let's dive into the lands between my grave let's get started We install the game. First, you have to install the Visual C++ all-in-one drivers. For that, you have to visit your browser and search PC Latest All-in-One. Then go to the first link. And click on the download option. Just select the any one of the link. Then your driver file will get download. After that, open it and extract it to a particular folder. After that, open the folder and as you can see, all drivers are downloaded. To install it, click on the bat file which will install the all drivers sequentially you don't have to install it individually that's all after that you have to disable the antivirus and firewall For that, go to your Windows Security, then Manage Settings and turn off Real-Time Protection. Also, go to the Firewall and Network Protection in which select Add-on Settings and then Windows Defender Firewall Properties in which select Firewall State of and click on apply and ok virtual RAM is also important it should be as per your RAM size for that you have to go to settings and select system scroll down and in about section select advanced system properties in which select the advanced setting you have to select settings then add once and change as you can see i have 16 gb of ram so i will select 2456 576 mb i am mostly using a pc manager to optimize and clean the temporary files in my computer which is very helpful just open the PC Manager software and click on Boost. It will build the temporary files and also memory uses will get down. I will provide the link in the description below where you can download. Under process management, you have to end the software which are now not required during the installation. Click on close. Close it from taskbar also. Anyhow, that PC manager will delete the temporary files, but there is some files will not get deleted, so we will delete it. Place Windows Plus R. and type percentage temp percent then click on enter then select all files and 
shift and delete to delete it permanently next is setup setting as you can see i have the 29 error files that you have to extract after that this set of files and setup you will get before installing you have to exclude the setup folder so it will not get detected during installation if you want the full brief video on it just head over to my channel or i will provide link in the description below next you have to verify your bin files which you have downloaded and ok to install it will take few minutes to complete after completion it, as you can see all files are in ok condition not having any bad file just ignore the missing file this all file should be in ok condition if uh, you have faced some bad files or CLC mismatch error you have to rehash or download the file again this is the most important thing before installing after that right click on setup and go to properties in which select compatibility and tick run as administrator then in security tab as you can see i have given full control if you don't have just click on edit and tick tick this option and click on apply and ok so finally click on the setup click on yes then ok if you have 8 gb of ram you have to select this option which will reduce your ram usage to 2 gb and your installation time will get increased then press on next and again next select your desired location where you have to install make sure you have enough storage for installation here you can see 21 gb it will take around 22 gb then click on next again actually i have bonus contained file so i will keep as a tick and Second is update DirectX. If you want to check the DirectX version, you have to place Windows plus R, then type DX Diag, then click on OK. In the window, as you can see, my version of DirectX is 12. So it's the latest version. No need to install again. Just untick the all option as uh, that Visual C++ we have already install in first step so untick that one also finally click on install it will take one hour or half half an hour for installation based on your system this is the proper way and process to install any game you can apply this step for any particular game or any PC games. With this process, your game will not crash or lag while playing. Also, you will not face any error while opening the game or launching the setup file. After the game installation, before launching the game, you have to add the game folder to a to a exclusion list so that will not detect by any antivirus software. And after that, you have to 
enable the antivirus software again and firewall. Now you are ready to launch the game. There you go. Elder Ring Night Lane is up and running perfectly on PC. As you can see, game launches smoothly, no flashes, no works, just a pure next level action. Everything is just the way it should. If this video helped you out, make sure to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more game installs, update and tips. What questions are stuck somewhere? Drop them in comments. I reply to everyone. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next talk.